We've just had a New World dev update and it was an eye on Eternum, one of those kind of community ones led by Lydia. Now I think in this case it's actually making the community probably a little bit angry and a little bit salty. Some for good reason and probably some in some harsh reasons. So let's jump in and let's talk about it. They basically announced this thing called Community Convergence, as well as dropping in some hints about what's coming, although not really. So the Community Convergence is going to be an event that lasts from May 13th all the way until June 3rd. It's probably lasting until June 3rd because on June 4th, that's when we get the rabbit event, which we think was delayed because it was supposed to come on the 22nd of May, but now it's coming on June 3rd. I don't know if that's going to be related to the balance patch or anything like that. I have no idea. Now it does say that this is going to be packed with contests, player spotlight, XP bonuses, a special Twitch drop, which we'll come on to in a minute, and more. And they actually have this screenshot showing you what is week one. Week one, you just get a freebie today if you want it. You can vote for the Twitch drop. As I said, we'll come on to that. Some more giveaways on Wednesday, a player profile, and then over the weekend there are some boosts. I actually like this, right? This sounds a bit, maybe a little bit corny, a little bit cheesy. These kinds of like little events where there's something just going on, every day it doesn't have to be major i think that's good for the health of the game obviously you know the health of the game is not in a great spot right now if you look at play numbers but i think these little things are quite good and before we talk about the actual hints in the video and maybe why people won't like it let's talk about what we are going to get apparently in this period of time there will be a transmog competition by the way on twitch i'm actually joining gaming gothic for his transmog competition on wednesday if you want to sign up i think you can probably go in my chat and do exclamation mark transmog or i'll try to leave a link in the comments if you want to sign up that is as i said there's a free housing item then there's this player choice twitch drop which you know as a streamer i love twitch drops because they basically give me money because there's more people watching twitch I receive some of those views, I make money on the ad revenue, okay? And we didn't actually have Twitch drops for Season 5, which was a little bit confusing. And you might be like, oh Jay, you're in luck then, you're going to get some Twitch drops. Well, yes, but what they're doing is they're giving us the choice of voting for which one. They're all a little bit sad. It's basically a prime gaming reward. I mean, this one actually has a runestone stopwatch which isn't you know isn't very useful considering it just turns into i think runestone the legendary one which i'm forgetting the name of but it turns into like 10 runestone or something like that and yeah they're not very interesting that's the gilded virtue i guess the main interesting thing is the actual housing item that's tall greeny ivy trellis you get two of them the next one is a round standing lantern and a verdant high bed and you know i'm just not going to name them all they're pretty much like all furniture items and some other stuff which is nice and all i don't know if it will really benefit me that much on twitch but if you want to actually come and get these they'll be going live on may 21st and i of course will be streaming so if you are watching i mean <laughs> there's only gonna be one place to go well okay there's not one place to go there's actually quite a few places to go but if you want to check out me then i'll be live for those and then we have something that's very interesting a community streamer promo they're actually going to be bigging up baggins they're doing this weird event which if i'm honest i don't fully understand they're basically doing a running competition where you can't teleport but you're going to go from certain points and you're going to run to other points so i think you're going to visit stanley um neku manesh and Barkimedes, and you know you've got to use the route on stream and to win don't know how they're going to monitor it don't know what's going on with it not spoken to baggins about it but he's involved it's happening on wednesday at 7 p.m utc which by the way is actually 8 p.m uk time i believe we're in bst right now and i actually think that would basically make it 9 p.m dst and three o'clock eastern and 12 noon pacific i'm just going to list them all that i can think of actually no i could do more but i'm not doing, going to do any more but check out baggins if you want to watch that i mean he makes sense he's the biggest new world streamer it makes sense our transmog competition that we're planning is sort of just before then so we should hopefully have time to do it and then not miss event so yeah we should be good there then they're doing a player spotlight which i'm not 100 sure what's going to happen i think it's just an interview on the, the may 16th but this is actually with a, a, a youtuber called noob world trying to find his name there's his name lovely guy by the way nice guy on youtube if you want to check him out please go ahead and do so if i can remember i'll try and leave a link but i'm pathetic for remembering things so apologies and then at the weekend there's going to be some bonus xp uh stuff we've not actually had one of these for ages it's probably been probably about a year since we've had one but you get double xp for gathering which is fishing harvesting logging mining and skinning and character xp so if you did want to do another character then you could do it then the one thing that would make me not do that is the fact in the video they hinted at fresh 
I'm not going to watch the video, but there's a specific part of it which I think is going to annoy people because the joke ran thin quite quickly. But there are actually hints if you pay attention a little bit. So there's a section where Lydia is interviewing Katie and they joke about how, you know, they're very excited to be able to talk or they're looking forward to being able to talk. And then they go, oh, well, what have you been working on the most? And then Katie goes something like, oh, well, I've been really working on. And then they just play music instead of actually, you know, giving an answer. And the joke is that she's saying the stuff that you want to hear, but you can't actually hear it because it's being censored. And that happens quite a few times, several times on repeat. And honestly, the joke sort of was a little bit thin. However, there is sort of like things you can maybe pick up in between. I would have to listen carefully to see if I missed anything else, but I'll tell you what I think they're doing. Now, this is just an opinion I could have picked up incorrectly. There's one point where I think they're talking about potentially a monetization change because Katie says, this is really exciting for the people who bought the original game and bought the expansion. We can give them something, right? Well, it doesn't actually say that. I don't know what the, I don't know what's going to be said exactly, but it sort of sounds like if you've bought both of these things, you will get something. Now, why would you get something if you'd bought both of those? To me, that sort of implies there might be a monetization change. Now, I could be stretching here. I could be just completely imagining this. But we know that they're doing hints and I think that could be one of them. There's other times where I think they're maybe talking about PvP and it sounds like the worm might be getting changed or we might be getting another raid and a change to the worm. It's hard to be sure. I'll probably listen to this back on stream tomorrow and just see if we can find any like, you know, really small details. But I think that's the hint. She says something that basically implies that there will be a name change and of course Fresh. Well, we already know Fresh is pretty much coming this year. And, you know, it's going to come with either console and she says something new this year. So I think console name change and fresh are all very, very likely. As I said, I'll watch this back on stream tomorrow and we'll have a look to see if we can find any specific new detail. It's all sort of like smoking daggers at the minute. I, you know, for example, there was one week where it looked like maybe mailboxes and I think there might be a hint at loot boxes at some point. There's a whole lot of little hints. Pretty confident in name change now. Pretty confident in fresh. Pretty confident in pets actually because we've seen the pet a couple of times. Pretty confident in the raid. Probably something to do with the worm because they mentioned the worm directly. And yeah, it's interesting. The actual sort of like community week, this community convergence, I like that. I think that's okay. Better than nothing. However, some of the rewards ever, I don't know. I like, it's weird to complain about something for free, but I, I mean, th these are like prime gaming rewards. They're not necessarily anything special, but you know, I don't want to complain because it's free, but you know, they're very, they're, they're, they're a bit minor. Hopefully it's just like you watch for an hour and you get it or something. Hopefully it's nothing crazy. And hopefully you come and watch it with me because uh, you know, if you're going to watch anywhere, I mean, I'll, I'll be right there. I'll be there. I might, I might even do like 16 hours. We'll see. For now, let me know if I missed anything, any other little clues and stuff like that. If there's a lot of stuff that I missed, which I can't imagine there is, I'll try and leave a pinned comment. For now though, big shout out to my Patreons. That's the best way to support the channel if you really want to help like that. Otherwise, as I said, you can come watch me over on forward slash twitch.tv.w.com J Oddity. Okay, I just messed that up, but it doesn't really matter. J Oddity at Twitch, you know what I'm talking about. Have a most beautiful day. Like and subscribe. Goodbye.